This is SK Ghosh. I would like to welcome you to our web seminar today. The topic is significant changes in ACI 31819. Uh, today is part two of our three part seminar. Uh, so the, the, the first slide uh, or, or the second slide of the presentation simply shows you the cover of ACI 31819. I, I showed the same thing last week and, and made the comment that it looks exactly the same as the cover of ACI 31814 except that there is a lot of color inside. If you go inside the book you will see the figures are all in color and there is color in the uh, section headings and so forth. So this is a definitely a departure from the past. Uh, the part of this slide I also showed you the last time. Uh, there is a large number of substantive changes from 318 to 19 and, and many of the changes are of far-reaching consequences. Uh, and, and this will require significant learning and adjustment on the part of the practitioner. Uh, this is why the, this uh, seminar, uh, and it is in three parts because of what I just said. The changes are many, they are extensive, they are important, uh, and, and I gave you the dates and so forth already, so let us proceed. So we, we did uh, chapters 1 through 17 uh, last week. I will start with chapter 18 earthquake resistant design which is a very very important uh, chapter and and you will see that there are a whole lot of changes in 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 this chapter okay so we will start with 18.3 section 18.3 ordinary moment frames assigned to design category b that that's what the section is about we are saying beam column joints shall satisfy chapter 15 which i shared with you yesterday chapter 15 gives you joint design requirements for ordinary moment frame joints so beam column joints shall satisfy chapter 15 with joint shear calculated on a plane at mid height etc so a a the the beam column joint has to be designed by chapter 15 requirement for the shear that that i'm showing in this slide this is the joint shear at at mid height of the joint and this is calculated assuming that nominal moment strength acts at the ends of the beams framing into the joint. So there is negative moment strength acting at the end of the right beam. There is positive moment strength acting at the end of the left beam. The shear here is the, as I, as I explained the last time, so I don't want to spend too much time on this, the shear here is the tension in the top reinforcement of the right beam and the tension is taken as a sub s f sub y because the nominal moment strength means we have f sub y in the reinforcement so the ten shear here is this tension plus that tension because that tension is equal to this compression all this compression minus the column shear and we talked about the calculation of the column shear the last time as well. So so all, all this section is saying is that the beam column joint of an ordinary moment frame assigned to design category B shall comply with the chapter 15 requirements that I discussed with you uh, last week. Uh, we are still uh, no, not still. So 18.4 we go to intermediate moment frames which must be used as a minimum if the seismic design category of your structure is C. Okay, Up to B we allow ordinary moment frames. Now uh, the beams and columns of an ordinary moment frame has to be designed for the maximum shear that can develop in the beam or the joint. The change that we'll talk about has to do with the maximum shear that can develop in the beam. 
So to calculate the maximum shear that can develop in the beam, if, if we want this maximum shear, we consider probable moment strength. So we so if we want to calculate maximum shear at the left support, we consider nominal moment strength acting counterclockwise as shown at the left support, nominal moment strength acting in the same direction at the other support. We add the two moments together, divide by the span, and then we superimpose the shear caused by the factored gravity sitting on the beam. And the factor gravity sitting on the beam was shown as 1.2 dead plus 1.0 live plus 0.2 snow in ACI 318.40.